So today I've added some Bia skateboards and additional honey supers to a couple of my hives that are doing really well and popping. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, just noticing a lot of ants on a hive behind me here. <laughs> ants! Um, I'd like to say hello to Fergie who advised me not to use smoke so I didn't use smoke today. I told him I would try it out and I did and um, I think it's okay. I, I didn't get stung. I had a few bees harassing me but uh, no stings. I would say it's the same amount of threat as with smoke. It's just like a safety net for me because I'm already exposed. I don't wear a veil. I don't wear a bee suit. So having the smoke is kind of that safety net for me, but I'm realizing I probably don't need anything. Um, so if you're looking to get into beekeeping and you're a little scared of getting stung, you will get stung. Um, I find even when I'm suited up, I take my gloves off, I pick up something, then I get stung. Or as baby girl noticed a couple weeks ago, she was suited up, we left the bee yard, and then she got a bee in her hair and got stung on her head. So, um, I normally get stung when I let my guard down. I've gotten stung before going all the way home with a honey super and the bee was right in between my fingers and I got stung at home. So, for me, you can suit up all you want, but bees are gonna sting you irregardless. You get used to it, I must say. Like, I don't even really swell up that much anymore. Um, my body is developing some sort of tiger immunity to it. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Um, I'm gonna show you a sweet little flag we put out for Harbor Honey. If you don't know what Harbor Honey is, it's my honey company. Bees and Bikinis is my YouTube channel where I beekeep in a bikini. And Harbor Honey is um, my honey company and Harbor Honey's name came from Honey Harbor where I live and where my bees are. And Honey Harbor has a very big history about beekeeping which I can share with you another time. But there's a bee harassing me there because I'm not using smoke. Uh, but anyway, that is that and I'm going to just show you my flag for a little bit. Enjoy, please like and subscribe. Yes, I know that one and one or two Ain't no problem that I can't see through As long as it's just me and you My crazy little bees skateboard so when you're ready to harvest a honey box or a honey super you put the bee a skateboard underneath the box that you want to harvest and what happens is if this is in the top the bees go through this hole and then they go through to this bottom part out this little maze and come out these holes on three corner these ends on the triangle um, and then when they go through this top hole, they can't figure out how to get back into the honey box. So I'll show you how to install those today. You do take home a few bees with you, but I like it better than using a leaf blower or a blower or um, what else do we use? A bee brush sometimes too. Um, this is the best method and I've been using it for a couple years. Um, but I'll show you how I do that. Wow, that's beautiful. You're gonna have some comb honey. Yeah. Oh, so good. They did that really fast. Yeah.
question. What is she going to do with all this honey? Your response? I'm going to sell it on Instagram or Facebook Marketplace. Oh, and then keep a leader for myself. <laughs> You're going to need more than a leader. Yeah, that's true. To Queen Barbara. I think um, it doesn't need another honey super yet. We only have four honey supers left in our supplies, so I'll hold off on Queen Barbara for now. I'm just gonna check Queen May now. continued because it is so hot so hot I don't know how you beekeepers do this in a bee suit but I put oh, wrong way so I put that bee skateboard right here um, I put it with the screen side down so this is the honey super that's full and this one's not quite ready yet so I've put the one that's full with the bee skateboard. So now the bees are going to slowly exit out that maze and not be able to get back in. There's a few stubborn ones that will stay, uh, but other than that, it works pretty well. Um, with your inner cover, if you have one like mine with a hole in the top, I just ram a little grass in there because what I find is the bees, and I turn it backwards, normally it's the other way. I find that the bees sneak their way back in the honey super that I'm trying to get ready for extraction. So there's a few tips with that. Um, this was Dopey Hive and it is doing so well. Like I'm in, so impressed. Um, also just another thing, I'm sitting at the back of this hive right here and there's actually a breeze on my butt because they're fanning it so well. So anyway, just an observation. So I'm gonna put this one back together, ratchet strap. Um, I've already checked the hive next door here, but this was Dopey Hive Queen May, um, and it almost has two full honey supers, full comeback. There's a bee bug in me right now. So we're gonna come back later. I'm gonna finish up with Crazy Hive. Um, I need to put in a skateboard on that hive too. Hi, I'm back. It's a little bit cooler. I'm just going to add a be a skateboard to uh, crazy hive and then I'm done for the day. do you think that weighed? But that honey super probably weighed at least 50 pounds, 40 to 50. So has been lifted up and I put the bee skateboard underneath. So we'll check back in two to three days. Hopefully the bees will be out of there and I can get my first honey of the season. Mm -hmm. 